Trenchtown, the birthplace of your favorite reggae music, your favorite dancehall music, Rastafari movement, and yes, me. I am Veronica P. Holmes, artist, writer, poet, and storyteller. I grew up hearing, can anything good come out of Trenchtown? Let me take you to the place of my sunrise. A place where you feel the scorching heat of the Caribbean sun rise from the dusty, arid streets. Trenchtown had its rep, rude boys, shantytown, ghetto, concrete jungle. On any given day, the mesmerizing smell of ganja burning from the chilling pipes of Rastaman, no fear. In the tenement yards, the big pots are boiling with the aroma of island spices, curry, thyme, pimento, onion, scallion, tomato, and such. The rhythmic sound of ska, rock steady, reggae can be heard bursting from the radios in the yards along with the jukeboxes at the shops and rum bars. In front of the shops, men are engaged in loud games of dominoes, ludi, or some type of card game. I lived like a nomad in trench town. My grandmother moved quite often. Yet, I had one place where I felt safe, secure. Papa's house. He never moved. Papa lived in a winding, dusty, dirt lane off the main street where the yards were lined with zinc or board fences. When it rained, it was mud. There were tamarind trees, cacti, and other shrubs that grew in desert-like conditions. But I never saw a rose garden. You see, my grandmother did day's work up in uptown Kingston where the privileged high society people lived. At times she took me along to work with her and I saw the difference. All types of tropical fruit trees such as mangoes, neatly cut grass, garden with roses and other flowers. But I fell in love with the roses, the colors, the smell, and even the thorns. In retrospect, when I reflect on life in Trenchtown, I came to understand even though my surroundings were tough and austere, the nurturing and tender loving care I receive is how a rose is preserved. There are roses in the trenches. I am Trenchtown Rose.